Good evening and welcome to Trendwatch, news and views from the fashion capitals with me, Laura Barton. Designers around the world have been commemorating International Fringing Month, with a display of strands, tassels and borders that experts say rivals that of the 1974 Country Music Awards in Nashville, when it famously took 18 hours to separate Dolly Parton and Loretta Lynn. The principal risk presented by fringing is, of course, tangling. Stepping out in Nina Ricci's black fringe sleeve top, for example, could prove hazardous for the unprepared, and experts recommend that wearers take precautions. Some wayward fringes have returned home to find their Ralph Lauren stole best resembled Mr. Twit's beard, the strands of which Roald Dahl described as holding tin sardines, Stilton cheese and cornflakes. The Academy of Garment Hedging also expressed concern that wearers may find fringing ticklesome. Symptoms to watch for include a niggling feeling less vicious than an itch and a strong urge to laugh. They call for clear health warnings to be placed on Lanvin's red winter coat with fringe lapels, which threaten to tickle the wearer from the nape of the neck right down to the calf. The Kennel Club also voiced misgivings about the trend, claiming that an item such as Chloe's grey fringe poncho could prove confusing for drop-eared Sky Terriers, who may mistake it for a giant version of the breed or come to worship it as a god. Campaigners reserve their deepest concern for the wearers of Roberto Cavalli's long white gown with silky fringing, which one expert described as looking like an Afghan hound in a negligee. For most people, this should not prove a problem, but for Afghan hound lovers, and indeed Afghan hounds themselves, it could prove perplexing. I've been Laura Barton, and this has been Trendwatch.